guys welcome or welcome back to my channel sorry if you can hear construction noise in the background that's why I've been doing the voiceovers because there's a lot of noise today's video is going to be spring trends for 2024 this is the part two of this concept where I'm actually gonna be styling outfits of the trends so if you guys missed my previous video on this I just did all the research dove in gave examples of all the trends and kind of just chatted it over but today we're gonna see an option for a styling version for each of them so there's 10 trends it's gonna be super fun and I'll link everything I can in the description box for you guys make sure to like subscribe comment all the good things I appreciate it all I appreciate you all being here and let's get to it sorry for my scratchy morning voice that I have while recording this but first up we have rosettes which was all over the runway this is so fun and it's so beautiful it's super romantic it's like florals for spring groundbreaking we know but in a little bit more specific of a way I love the feminine energy that this gives this dress is from white fox and it's just so beautiful and romantic this is perfect for a vacay or a date night something special next trend that I'm gonna do is styling an oversized bag and I'm just gonna do a really simple plain outfit Fit for this because I think this trend is so wearable and practical. I have this little sweater hack that I've been doing where you kind of just wear it upside down backwards. I don't know what you want to call it, but it turns it into like a little shrug. And I think that this simple basic outfit is the perfect silhouette for a nice big bag. You could also wear a big bag with a more dressy outfit or something, of course. I actually think smaller bags work better with dressy outfits, but I just love this simple kind of classic style paired with a big bag, and we love this practical wearable trend. Then I'm going to do a drop waist, and I don't know if this technically counts as a drop waist or not because it's more of like the V shape, but this is the closest thing that I had for this trend, so hopefully you guys don't sue me. Um, I think that this dress is so adorable. It's from House of CB and they honestly can do no freaking wrong. I thought it would be fun to pair it with a pair of flats, so like a little ballet flat, which is also a huge trend that I love. And I got this pair off of Etsy. They're very like literal ballet flats, but I think that it's so cute. And this outfit just gives such spring energy. So obviously love that for a spring trend. Next we have hot pants, short shorts, micro shorts, whatever you want to call them. I am obsessed with these. I wear them all winter. I wear them every season to be honest and I love that it's a trend because I think that they are so fun and actually really easy to style. For this spring version, I wanted to do kind of like a rainy day inspired outfit because I know there's lots of rain typically in spring so I did this little like cropped bomber jacket, some rain boots, and this little green purse to tie it all in together. I think it turned out so cute. Next we have power dressing or workwear inspired clothing. So obviously this dress is really short. It's not like super workwear appropriate. And I kind of just took that trend a little less literally or to the nth degree and just used an oversized blazer with some nice structure in the shoulders and padding, which definitely gives off that power dressing energy. And this outfit does indeed make me feel powerful. So I love that. I think it's great. And I'm all here for the workwear. I have so much fun styling workwear. The peplum top I know is controversial, a lot of people have strong feelings about it, and I don't even know if this classifies as a hardcore peplum top, but I think it still does because of that A-line structure, but I do think that this trend can be done so well and very chic and more updated, it doesn't have to be that like horrendous, I don't know, 2008 style peplum top outfit. We're gonna do some mermaid core, which I think is so fun. Sequins, mesh, maybe a little bit of see-through because I feel like mermaids wouldn't care about their things being see-through. And this is just such a fun trend. I think you can definitely play into this a lot with hair and makeup as well. But as far as outfits go, sparkles, mesh, sequins is great for that. For the hair and makeup, it's like glossy, slicked back, all that kind of stuff. I'm obsessed. Next up we have feather details and I have loved feathers for my whole life. I love texture and just a little bit of fun pizzazz to an outfit. Feathers are the perfect detail for that. I got this dress from Revolve. I feel like it doesn't fit me perfectly. It's like a little bit long in the chest area and whatever, but I think that it's so cute with the little feather detail. I don't know. It just gives fun energy. You know what I mean? Like I will put feathers on any outfit. Okay, last I'm going to show you guys a preppy styling outfit. So this is a House of Sunny jacket. It's kind of like a Leatherman, Leatherman, is it Leatherman or Leatherman? I don't know. Jacket, but it gives like high school collegiate vibes. And then a little pleated skirt from House of CB is also perfect with that. You could pair it with some loafers or some tennis shoes like I did here. And I think that this is a really fun trend. I do have to say I skipped capris because I don't think I have any or I couldn't find them. So sorry about that. But love you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.